What's up, friends? This is Squigs, and we are back once more with another episode of Squiggy's Rom Hack Rob. We have today The World of Random by Mushroom378. You remember, might remember Super Mario 378 by Mushroom378. This is his second submission out of four, I believe. There's four total. Um, but this is the second one. So let's jump into the world of random and see what we got today. I like the title, by the way. You never know what's going to come up in the world of random. Welcome to the world of random. This strange world awaits you. It sure does, buddy. All right. Let's see what they got to offer in the world of random. Yep, after this intro, which I, I really at this point wish was skippable. Oh, random. Introduction. That... At least, hey, we know exactly how many levels it's going to be. That's kind of strange to see at the start. And we got some more Sonic music. I remember this from the other... I have to go check out down here, make sure there's nothing. But um, I remember hearing this in the other act. So you're in the world of random. Not bad, but remember, there are traps awaiting you. Good luck, 378. I love that. All right. Oh, okay, watch it. All right. Let's see. I'm going to have to ease into it. I was going to start full run mode here. and that I mean, that would be a mistake, apparently. There we go, get rid of some turtles. I don't need your, uh... Your blocks, because I have my own thing, but I guess I do. Oh, there's got to be something in that one, right? Let's see if we can get this one here in time. Up and around, and shoot it back, and we've gotten ourselves a security mushroom. Oh, I thought the game froze for a second there. You see that weird pause where that thing shouldn't have paused, maybe? Interesting use of bushes. <laughs> Where's that little guy? Is there supposed to be one there that's not that's getting sprite limited? Let's, let's knock him out and see if he comes back. No, he's just not there. Just one bush to throw you off. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, come on. All right. Well, I got it. All right, we'll just slide our <laughs> slide our way out the back there. No problem. No harm. No foul. Like. How do you not check every one of these, right? To make sure? There we go. Seems like they're all coins, but I mean, we're, we're this deep in, so we might as well just do it. And they are all coins, as you may have expected. Nothing up there. I want to say that none of the pipes are enterable, but that might be in relevance to only the first hack. I think that was brought up at some point. Ah. Now, see, I... I'm gonna go back and get a shell, I think, so I can hit all these blocks without having to bring one of these with me. Let's see, get melty, get melty. Where's that? I know I didn't kill all the shell turtles. <laughs> there we go. All right, we'll bring this with us, and that way we won't have to run back and forth looking for blocks over and over. I think that's a good plan. Just a short walk back this way. I love this song so much that I could just walk around a level listening to it anyways. It's very nostalgic for me. It's just a good song. I've done it now. All that for that. <laughs> We've dropped it in a pit. I'm tempted to throw my shell through the wall there just because you can, but it's kind of a waste. We'll take the extra mushroom, I think. All right, level one down in the world of random. Let's zip through this a little bit. Um, ooh, groovy music. I've heard this one before, but I, I don't know if I know what this one's from. Turtle party. Get rid of as many of them as possible. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> Kicking shells around is always a good time. Uh, oh, we found a mystery mushroom. So let me tell you a tale of what happened to me on the way to work today, right? I'm driving to work and um, going by my high school, actually. Where, well, what was my high school at one point. It's not my high school anymore. But um, driving to work and... Uh, you know, I'm just listening to my crappy radio. My stereo's kind of broken, um, because, well, my battery died in my car, right? So, when it died, my my battery was kind of, like, going in and out really fast. Like, it was tr struggling to stay on. It would, like, die, come back, die, come back at some point. And every time it was doing it, it was popping the speakers. And I walked up to my car after a night of it doing this. What I can only assume is a full... I thought I was going to die there. But I can only assume it was a full night of it doing this, because I opened my car, there was no key in it, it's just going pop, 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 because my battery's freaking out. It screwed up my... How did I hit that thing? Did you see that? I was, like, heading downwards. That was weird. Um, but yeah, it, it destroyed all my speakers, and basically, I can't listen to music. Uh, did I make a mistake? 
It appears that, appears that I did. I don't... I probably had to go in that pipe, actually. I will pick that up in one second. I don't want to bring you through all this again. Okay, so... My, I'm listening to my crappy stereo that I can't put over, like... Like half... Not like a third volume without it getting all crackly. Strange pipe that led to, <laughs> to a field. Um... And out of the back of my rear view mirror, I see the fateful blue lights coming up behind me. And I'm like, oh, shit, gotta pull over. This guy fucking bagged someone. And then as I pull over, I see the blue lights slowing down. And I'm like, oh, fuck, he's coming for me. I was like, what did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. I wasn't speeding. I didn't run any red lights that he knows of. <laughs> um, I was like, I, I, for this, for once, I was like, I didn't do anything this time. I know I wasn't speeding. I'm always like... I'm pretty much ready to get fucking pulled over any time in my life and have it be my fault. There's a lot of fucking turtles here. Um, because I usually have a car that's not fully legal, you might might say. <laughs> um, yeah, I've had a lot of times where I've driven around with no registration, no inspection. Stupid idea, by the way. Not worth it. Do not recommend it. Not trying to tout the ability to not... Roll, ride around with stuff, but pretty much my whole life I've had a car that's illegal in some way. It's either uninspected, uninsured, no registration, a lapse license, stuff like that. It's terrible, I know, but that's the kind of life I lived, especially when I was younger, working in like... Oh, there's the... F there we go. We're just gonna take a fly over there. Maybe, maybe not. I was like, I don't want to jump into a pit by accident, so we're just gonna fly our way to the end. But yeah, especially when I was younger, working retail, not really having enough money to get by... Um, a lot of the time I would fucking neglect my car. My car's a piece of crap, so, like, there was a lot of part of the time where I couldn't get it inspected at all. Because, um, because I, it literally wouldn't pass inspection and I couldn't afford all the repairs to get it fixed. So I would just not inspect it and drive it anyways. Stupid idea. Stupid fucking idea. And I paid a lot of money for doing that, so I don't recommend it. Although I did get away with it for quite a long time, to the point where the tickets I paid, I almost saved money not getting inspected all those times. But I'm not trying to fucking tout it, so don't do it. Um, but yeah, so, but for once, I'm all good to go, right? So I'm like, what the hell did I do then? What does this guy want? That's so fun to do, by the way, is to spin jump into a long thing of coin blocks like that. Um... So, he gets by me, he pulls up to me, he's like, license and registration, that whole deal, you know. You've heard it before, probably. Um, and he goes, you know why I pulled you over? And I never say anything to that, because it's always a trick. <laughs> You're like, they're like, would you like to voluntarily admit to any crimes you may have committed that I might not have noticed? Is basically what that means, by the way. I'm not like a never talk to the police kind of guy, but, I mean, I usually don't just give away crimes I think that I did either. Eventually I realized what they were trying to do with that. And I'm like, no, why'd you pull me over? He's like, uh, this. And he points at my registration. My registration had lapsed earlier in the month. Uh, well, the end of last month is when it lapsed. So it was like, just barely fucking lapsed. I was like, oh my god. I was like, this is fucking it. I'm gonna go get towed and then I'm gonna have to fucking call out of work. And, then, like, I've been out of work for a while, too, because I haven't been feeling well. So, like, I, I've been, like, not in the office for quite some time. And then I'm like, I'm going to finally go in and tell him I was going to be there for that fucking 9 a.m. meeting and then just not show up like an asshole. Oh, we have to have the feather for this. Interesting. Um, so he's like, do you have a smartphone? I was like, that's a weird question. But, yes, I do, sir. I do have a smartphone. Nice. So just a nice little fly to the end. Not, nothing too intense there. And I'm like, yes, I do. He's like, go online, go to the DMV, and um, register your car right now, and I'll sit here and wait with you. Yoshi's Templand, interesting. I'll sit here and wait with you while you do it, and then I'll just fucking let you go. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. You are the fucking man. I, of course, I didn't actually say that, but in my head, I'm like, what an awesome guy. He could have easily just been like, here's your ticket, gotta go, get towed, good luck getting a new job. Uh, sucks to be you. And I would have said, okay, I deserve that. I fucked up and didn't realize that my thing was, like, it's not like a, oh, woe is me, I'm such a victim because they gave me a ticket I deserved. It's more like, holy crap, this guy. Ugh. 
took time out of his day. <laughs> what the hell is this for? What am I supposed to do up here? Oh, it's supposed to be a one-up. Ah, sprite limitations, that's sad. But I'm gonna go up there and fly and grab it, because I earned it. Nope, maybe not. Yeah, it's like, what a nice guy. This cop just like, he's taking time out of his day. God damn it, just go. Gotta despawn a few of them. Go back over. And around. I will get this fucking one up if it's the death of me, and it will be. Just give me some time. Um, I was like, yeah, what a nice guy. He didn't have to do any of that for me. He's gonna totally hook me up. So I go, I'm on my phone, and he's like, I'll come check back on you in a minute. Oh, we got just the max level of sprites you could possibly have. This has got to be Yoshi, because I see all these here. Hey, we glitched a berry. We turned it green for a second, too, by getting it on our tongue. But, um, yeah, if you glitch a berry out for the record and um, put another berry on your tongue, the glitch berry will change to the color of that berry, I believe. Um, I'm nervous to make this jump. Lots of blind jumps in this. Not ideal. Oh, that was supposed to be a Yoshi hop to his death, I think. Um, but since I got the feather, I didn't need to do that. Oh, bye, Yoshi. Just gonna abandon me like that? Whoa, I almost died. So, yeah, he let me do that. I start filling it out. I realize I don't know my license number, so I have to wait for him to come back. He's like, how you doing? I was like, I don't know my license number, sir. Uh, I didn't want to get out of the car because I didn't want to get fucking shot. <laughs> um, because, like, you don't just jump out of your car during a police stop without his permission. I was thinking, you know what I mean? So I was like, can I get out and look at my license? He's like, it's right there on your registration. But they called it, like, a registration ID or something, but it was a six-digit number like my license. I'm like, I felt really fucking stupid after that. So, basically, actually... You know what, we're gonna call we're gonna call it here because this looks about the halfway point. We'll do it in two pieces if it's four and four. But just to finish my story real quick, basically, um, he gave me my registration number. I filled it all in, or my license number. I filled all that stuff in. Um, it went through. He goes back to his car to check it. Didn't show up in the system yet. He's like, "Can I have that number? Can you go back to show me where you put in the your license number, or whatever?" I go back. All the forms are cleared because I hit back on my browser. He's like, he went back, he's like, well, I saw you do it, so, good luck. <laughs> Basically, he's like, if anyone pulls you over again, just show them the screenshot I make you take of the confirmation number, and hopefully they understand that your car is registered. Oh, and before I left, he goes, what's the deal with your, re your inspection sticker? And all this time, I'm thinking, hey, I'm driving a legal car, right? I've been telling people for, like, the past six months, for the first time in my life, I can go out driving without getting nervous, because my car is legal. And apparently it wasn't for the past month, but my inspection sticker had been uh, out of date since 2016, and I had no fucking idea. It's the wrong. Co He's like, come on. He's like, and then go get this inspected. I was like, I'll do that right after work today, sir. I promise. Um, but apparently they were worried it's trash because I came right home and started recording a fucking Swiggy Surround Hack Romp episode. But I will be doing that tomorrow because if he pulls me over again, I need him to know that I'm not trying to screw him over. Anyways, that's my cop story. I don't want to talk too much longer while we're not doing any gameplay. But I think this is a good spot to stop so we split it into two episodes instead of one awkward long episode. Um, so yeah, anyways friends, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Squiggy's Around Mac Romp. Uh, this is the world of random, I believe. Yeah, the world of random, am I getting that phrasing right? By uh, Mushroom378. And we will be back soon with what may be the second and final episode, depending on if there's more than just this screen. Hey, we made it to the, the little outro music. All right, take it away, outro music. Bring us into the outro. Uh, yeah, so thanks for joining me, friends, and I'll catch you all in the next one.